dollars for my car, for my bike, for everything. Just a few more dollars, dollars. Welcome to the episode. Hope you really enjoy it. Um, you know why I do it. You love it. Just admit it. De, 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 and a quarter to three. I made some room in here, kicked the motorbikes out. G2 Plus just got a little revamp after we had um, big storms come through, so I cleaned it out. Next step with the chassis is I don't have neutral, I don't have any gears. I have reverse, but I don't have any gears. So I'm gonna just slip the engine back, undo the bolts, slip it back, and this is the Pope's nose. See there, held a nose. This is the Pope's nose. So I'll, I'll have, once this is back, I'll undo it. There's no oil in it. I'll undo it. And there's a, a fork selector. It's not on the gears, but it's on the carriers. And it's not engaged properly. I read the guidance for the torques, but not how the fork selector should sit. You got to have it in neutral first. Now this is in gear at the moment. It won't run away. Finish the brakes off. Uh, finish a few things off, and then I'm off into G1, finishing the body. Let's do this, ladies and gentlemen. It's the world's first. You know that. The world's best and the world's first. Tide's turning towards uh, the beetle, so today I pull the engine gearbox out. I move it one foot uh, back so I can slide the Pope's nose out and select neutral and see if we get the, all the gears. It's only held in by a few bolts. Here, here there's two on the axles. There there's two, right? The brake lines are off, see? They're off, uh, and that can come back. And there's two there, and there's two large ones at the front. They're the ones I'll work on in the next hour to release them. Got to get the jack in the right position and protect it. Now I'm scuff the bottom of the engine. It should look pretty good under there. And you'll see how we go, gents, ladies. This is an hour and a half later, and uh, I've released the engine and gearbox. Uh, it's quite easy. I didn't have the bolts done up in them, so I had two there and two on each side, and that was it. I've got a jack under there and there's a lug just behind the sump. There's a recess in the jack and I put a welding uh, glove over that. It sits in the recess, we're not scuffing anything. And you slowly drag it back. All right, so Pope's nose, right? Here it is here. And this is it here, see? All right, it's coming off. I'd have to go, yeah, there we go. There's the gear selector. Now that's got to go in between here and it looks like this this one here was supposed to be out when I selected them all. I make sure that it's in neutral, pop this back on, might put some sealant on here, I just leave the gasket on there, it's brand new, it hasn't done any work, reverse switch, <laughs> new bearing, bushes, <laughs> all the goodies folks. <laughs> There's my um, uh, mount that I rebuilt, that it's not a brand new one. To do this job for a long time, this is to step forward really crunch a chassis finished go on to the body a bit more and then we can marry the both up hey let's do this as you can see there's the fingers there's a slot there's a slot there's a slot and they're not all lined up so i just got to find out where neutral is line them up and throw the end cap back on again it's really clean have a look at it Paste have everything clean. Got a bit of oil there, seeping through there. So what I'll do is I'll put some uh, gasket goo. See the oil? Hasn't even got oil in it. Oh, probably real a little bit. So first thing that we've done, folks, is this: is the gears. First, second, third, fourth reverse so all the gears in had the pope's nose off i've resealed it put it in the right place not a rookie error but um 
just an ivy saw. Ivy saw. La, 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 la. What storm? What storm? What storm? Cooler than cool, tougher than Tyson. What storm can upset the Tyson? Yeah, yeah. You don't have to let money come between. I've slipped the engine out so easy. It's only four bolts. There was nothing holding it on, really. And have a look at how nice it is, hey? I think Skippy's got good cars, hasn't he? Hey? High end. So I'm just tapping these bolts out. These are 18 millimeter holes and bolts, and they're special. They've got a lead in, they've got a shoulder, they've got all sorts. These are US Pro taps, right? And uh, these are 18 by 1.5 pitch. Every Volkswagen Beetle person who does this sort of stuff should buy them. I think they were 10, 15 pounds or something, US Pro eBay. <laughs> The storm come through and it upset me hair. I, I felt a little bit off balance and now I know. I looked in this mirror. Yeah, it's not bad, but it's, you know, it turned the tides, didn't it? Whoop, Bonnie, Bonnie, you're coming together. Whoop, whoop, Bonnie, I'm gonna finish you this winter. Whoop, whoop, Bonnie the Beetle, I'm gonna finish you this winter. Uh, we're cracking on. I'm going to have this engine back in tonight and then I'm going to sort the handbrake out, the clutch, clutch cable, header cables. Just hook these last few things up and you have to do everything on the chassis now. You want to lie under the, under the car and do all the jobs? No, you have to do everything, everything. And then you plonk the body on, finished. Shanaz. I've cleaned out G1, G, garage, one, the first garage. Ready to work on the bad boy. I'm just having an overview on it, looking around, there's a month's work easy. And then I could do the four guards, I could do the boot, I could do the bonnet. I have to fit the bonnet, make sure it really fits properly. This, this radii, radius, the radii, the two radiuses there, this one goes down and it goes up again. So I'll just I'll just match that and fool the eye a bit. Yep. But it's got to sit, seal, and deliver. The openings have to be done here. You can feel that. It's rough as anything, but what you don't see is okay, but there's no rust. And I'm a man of metal, not filler. And I've noticed up the top there, this rail, that thickness there, that's metal. <coughs> This is at least three and a half, four mil thick up here. This rail here is like uh, like when you blow your nose. Not great. It's not a good side. Full steam ahead. I'm Bonnie the Beetle. There's a lot of work to do, even though it w the body was finished. I just had a little nosy in here, and this is really fat, and it's all filler, and under the filler is rust. So, can't have that, mate. I'm not taking everything off. I'm just going to fix everything nice. But this seam here, this seam that goes right there, is supposed to be as skinny as this one. See how skinny it is? It's beautiful. But here, someone's put all filler in it. And um, I'm a metal worker, not a filler worker. Fillers! 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 On this, where we bolt the guard on, 
right? So you got one, two, three, four, five, six M8 holes. It's supposed to have another one here. Seven, eight, nine, probably even ten. Maybe there's nine. I haven't counted on the guard. Well, where are these holes? Where are they? On both sides, they're not there. What are you going to glue it on? We've got piping that goes in the middle, so we've got to get it right, and I'll do it now. Yeah, yeah, do it now. Yeah, yeah, do it now. Yeah, yeah, do it now. But then again, I should use that energy that's pouring through me onto the old girl, eh? Yeah, yeah, do it now. Yeah, yeah, do it now. Bonnie the Beatles, Bonnie the Beatles, do it now. I'm really excited about this project. Uh, if I get stuck and I'm, I need parts or paint or I need a brake, I'll just hop on one of the motorbikes. Simple. Yeah, yeah, do it now. Yeah, yeah, do it now. Folks, this is what I found. Rust and holes all over the place. See there, this is what I'm on about. I have to dig all the rust out and re-weld and thick filler here five mil thick there I think it's even thicker there you can see I've made really good gains on this and you've enjoyed it you've enjoyed the episode give it a like thanks for watching you don't have to let